So, before performing validation of an autoclave, we need to first understand the process development and process qualification. In process development, we need to identify the design approach I, E. Overkill or product specific, types of load, process types, HPHV or gravity, cycle development, load characterization and parameter determination, performance qualification and ongoing control. Before deciding the loading pattern of the items in an autoclave, we must understand first types of loads. First load is porous, hard goods load. Porous slash hard good loads are the items or material which bio burden is directly inactivated when the saturated steam comes in contact with those items. For example, filters, rubber stopper and seals, machine parts, hose pipes, garments and mops, cleaning aid or any miscellaneous items like air sampler, sieves, etc. Second load is liquid load, a load which is having sealed container containing aqueous liquid. The amount of heat transferred to the liquid decides the sterilization of container. Loading pattern is decided based on the maximum and minimum load for the items. Maximum load, maximum no of items or maximum mass. Minimum load, minimum no of items or minimum mass. Now, it is necessary to discuss some important thing to be considered while deciding the loading pattern. Loaded items or material should not come in contact with the inner surface of chamber. Position of items must be ensuring while loading for the easy air removal, steam penetration and condensate removal. For example, bucket must be loaded upside down. Heavy mass or largest items should be placed in a lower shelf to minimize wetting by condensate and easy to loading and unloading. Items should be closed but not locked. Preparation of items should be done by using paper or non-shedding material or any polymeric material or combination of it. Sterilization tape during preparation of material should be minimal. Items which size may vary, minimum and maximum load should be identified. A bracketing approach for qualifying the intermediate's load must include most difficult to sterilize item in the minimum load. I hope you all enjoyed the video. For more videos please subscribe my YouTube channel Pharmaceutical Learning Easy, likes and share the video. Link is in the description. See you in a next video. Till then bye bye and take care.